Hey everyone, it's Rascal on Uncaptured Rascal Show. A sad news that broke out uh, yesterday. Um, Advocate the former Lisela, um, also known as, or oh, how people used to call him, Advocate Tifo. He announced yesterday that he's letting go of the um, of the case. He he wants out uh, of the case, and um, he mentioned few things that caught me. He he mentioned things like um, he's scared of his life. There were death threats. There was money being offered. There was influence coming from the president's office for him to to be out of the matter or out of the case and we know that advocate d4 was representing the four or uh, the four guys that were uh accused or the four accused and i've been you know i used to watch advocate d4 uh, being in court and he was so trending even on tiktok he was trending and people made fun of him you know even the judge used to make fun of him even like every time when he was in court people would make like fun of him that laugh at him he was not taken serious and there was a lot of things that were happening which i want to put maybe on one bundle which i want to say there was a character assassination where no one didn't give a fuck what he says it was just a joke when t4 was there and how i think it is is that t4 knows the truth and t4 knew how to crack the case t4 knew um what actually happened and i think t4 had all um, the evidence. He had everything. And to think as an advocate, as someone who should be fighting to get... I know that there is other corrupt ones that will fight for someone who raped, uh, someone who killed a person. But I want to talk to those that are actually helping, you know, Imagine being scared of your life as a lawyer. Imagine you get home, there's a bullet maybe on... I'm, I'm not saying there was a bullet on top of his table, but imagine there was a bullet on top of your table. When you are in court, there's SMS that are coming through to tell you maybe um, we saw you dropping off your child at school. Don't worry, we're monitoring them. Don't worry, your wife is safe. We are transporting her. She's on her way home. Imagine all those, all those dirt threats being offered money by the same people that are actually involved in, in a murder case or in whatever case that you are helping. Imagine a president having influence towards the case. It's so sad what is really happening in South Africa. We are on ourselves, guys. I must tell you. We are on ourselves. It's up to us how we going to handle this country. It's up to us how we're going to reshape this country. The ball has been left on our hands. And maybe we should start thinking life without politics. But maybe we will make it a debate as well for that one. It poses some few questions on me. Maybe I'll maybe make two questions, which I think must be tacked. How many advocates or lawyers are out there scared of their lives or being threatened, being offered money? Others, are, we know that they take money to get that person out. They do take money. But how many are like Tifo Malisela that were scared of their lives? They didn't want to risk their life. He mentions something in, inside the court uh, in front of a judge that I'm a human. I've got emotion. That, that's someone's brother. That's someone's husband. 
it's a father to someone and he's trying to do his job but there is so much influence how many advocates thiefs are out there or how many okay maybe how many lawyers are out there that can't do their jobs because there's always a third person is there or <clears throat> sorry is there or will the judiciary protect protect such uh people such lawyers i know that judges have vip protection and judge presidents um they've got uh, vip protections as well i think they are guided by saps um um yeah i think so sergeants i think but should there be maybe a basic from the government for such lawyers to be allocated so that they can afford to have a private unit guarding them it is so sad it really is so sad thank you guys for listening um please don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all social media well not all social media i don't have twitter <laughs> Um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, like my Facebook page, Uncaptured Rascal Show, until we speak again. Thank you. I will, make, I will address this quote. That's in relation to what has happened in so far as the case number three is concerned, that's how far my contribution can be. <laughs> It's now an opportune moment, Your Lordship, to inform or this court that as the counsel of a case number one to four, I hereby inform the Honorable Court that I'm withdrawing as the counsel of your case one to four. I will no longer be able to can proceed in this court based on the harassment that I'm receiving. From the state and from the court. The accused have been consulted and it has been agreed upon that based on what is happening to me, because I took it upon myself that I will represent them after I was approached, myself and my attorney, by their families as well as the Mayua family. At the time when I was approached, together with my attorney to represent the case one to four, I was a watching brief on the Mayua family insofar as case number two is concerned. 375 of January 2019. I will therefore retort back to my role as a watching brief of the Mayua family as appointed by Sifiso Mayua, the brother of the late Senzo Mayua on case 375. In so far as 636 is concerned, I'm a human being, Hello Chip. I've got the emotions, I've got the feelings. I deserve and I demand the respect. <coughs> Not the demand of the respect per se, if I respect you, I expect the respect from you. That's where my demand is coming from. Because the respect is the reciprocal. It's not one way, it's two way. Give and take. The reason I can no longer be able to be in court and face you, there are serious allegations here whereby you are accused number one.
Um, before I can even accept the case of 636 to represent the case one to four, there has been a harassment that I should not be part of this case. From the police, from the NPA. I came into this case knowing what will be the consequence. On the 28th of April, when I was arrested before your court, uh, Your Lordship, that was a plan. And the plan was hatched in the office of the president, the number one office of the number one in the country. That I am a problematic advocate. I am interfering with a plan that has been hatched that my client should take the responsibility of the murder of Senzo Meiwa. Despite the fact that they were innocent. So uh, I'm sorry, my lord, and uh, I don't want to be rude to my learned friend, but we suggest, my lord, if my learned friend is going to withdraw, that he should just do so, my lord. Uh, I think it's unfair to malign institutions or, or you know, or other persons, uh, my lord. Uh, I, I don't think it's, it's proper. <coughs> the people who don't have the opportunity to uh, to defend themselves. No, Mr. Valoy, I'm the one withdrawing. Can you sit down? Yeah, but you, can you talk about withdrawal? I've read yes. you, you. I have I have proper you want to talk about and withdrawal? And I'm not going to listen you to you on end. What you are proper? withdrawing. You are part of the reason why you are withdrawing is because I am part of your harassment. Yes. Yes. And uh, anything else? No. Can I be allowed to say what no. I have to say? No. I don't have to say. Yes. I don't have that right to say. You don't have. I must just right. say I withdraw. You don't have the right to. I must just say I withdraw. To, to be irrelevant and go on end. You have carried the message. You are withdrawing. You have. You have, uh, the, you have conveyed the reason behind your withdrawal. I am not pre prepared to listen to anything else.